Hey, welcome everyone, I'm Ted Earhart. Just wanna share with you an update on lumber prices. This is a story that I've been following throughout the pandemic. So we saw a big, basically a double top in lumber prices. Let me show you the chart. Here's the Wall Street Journal article. This came out within recent weeks, September 27th. Take a look at the chart through the pandemic. So the pandemic hits lumber prices almost fall in half and then the federal reserve pushes interest rates to zero stimulus checks start coming out people are at home they have time on their hands and they have money and lumber prices basically shoot through the roof in fact they went up about 500 or five fold uh, before peaking it was clearly a bubble popped and we saw another run up in 2021 and then the Federal Reserve came in and started raising rates. And look at where we are today. Basically, we are back to pre-pandemic levels, at least in the futures markets. If you're out there, if you're in the trades and you're buying lumber products on a daily basis, drop me a comment. I'm curious if you're seeing this uh, at the lumber yards and in the retail stores. Are we close to pre-pandemic? Let me know what your experience is with this. But the other point I want to make, this is obviously an interesting story, just watching how this played out in the financial markets. But that aside, you know, the Federal Reserve is raising interest rates right now to basically take demand out of the economy in an effort to push inflation down. And this is a perfect example of how the mechanics of rising interest rates work. So obviously, home prices the real estate market in particular are very or is very sensitive to movements in interest rates um, as rates go up obviously dem demand for housing goes down and home prices real estate values go down people are less likely to take uh, home equity loans for home improvements projects and so forth you can just kind of see the domino effect that ultimately leads to lumber prices. You know, if less homes are being built, if people are doing less home improvements, obviously demand goes down and then ultimately prices go down. And my point is, this is what the Federal Reserve is trying to accomplish across the entire economy. They are purposely trying to sap demand out in an effort to push prices across all goods and services on average down. And the other thing I want to mention here, I've had a handful of clients reaching out in recent weeks saying, wow, I'm surprised you know, the stock market's really down this year. I'm seeing that in my account values. And I've been having conversations with folks and explaining to them that what is going on with the Federal Reserve is directly related to the decline in stock prices. You know, because obviously, if people are buying less lumber products, well, profits at those companies are down people are buying fewer homes, profits at those companies are down. And that ultimately gets reflected through in stock prices. So you can see how all these things are connected. And what I'm gonna tell you, what I've been telling clients is, as long as we're in this rate hiking cycle, it's likely that we're gonna see continued choppy waters in the financial markets. But it's important to remember that we experience these periods frequently. I mean, look back through history, there's always rate hiking cycles. And this is why I've been just hammering on this for months. You gotta have a plan. You can never be put in a situation where you're gonna be in a financial bind if stock prices go down for a year. You always have to have some buffer built into your portfolio in an effort to weather through these periodic uh, turbulent market environments which are not uncommon when you look back through history. In fact, these really serious bear markets, which I've also been talking about, happen on average historically every five to six years. So anyway, look, I hope this was helpful today. I probably went on too long as usual, but if it was, just give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. it Let me know you enjoyed the video, and I hope we'll see you on the next one.